Income shifting is what we talk about all the time. You know, smart financial strategies. I want to show you the power of those strategies, okay? I want to show you why that's so important, okay? You just brought in 10,000 people out there around this country. You got 50 new people on your team, 100 new people on your team, 1,000 new people on your team. Folks, you want to introduce them to income shifting. You want to introduce them to smart financial strategies. You want to introduce them as to why their business is their best investment, okay? Now, you also want to teach them to build a business. But I'm telling you, that's going to take longer for most people than income shifting. They can start income shifting tomorrow. They can start that next week. That's why it's so important, okay? Now, why do we say that this business income is smart financial strategy? Because your business is your best investment. Why, okay? Let's do some math on this. I'm gonna take very conservative numbers, okay? Very conservative numbers, do some math here. Now you come in my econ, and your first step is, in quick start is change your W-4, okay? So you change your W-4, you get $200, okay? If you self-employed out there, then you need to take $200 out your check, and you need to start this. You take $200, and you put it into an investment plan. Now, I know that the average change on the W-4 is more like $350 to $500, but I'm doing $200 to make it conservative, okay? I'm using a low, low number. Okay, obviously, if the number is higher, then the percentages go up. Then the scenario is better. But I'm using low numbers so everybody can start. All right, and even if you do hundred dollars, it's still great. But I'm gonna do two hundred. So that's twenty. You take tw uh, you change your W four, and you get two hundred dollars a month. You put that into some type of retirement account, uh, IRA. Okay, a um, 401k, a 403b, TSA, something that's tax deductible if you're self-employed, a SEP or simple, okay? And you can find out about all those, okay? Gotta put $2,400 in there. Now, of that $2,400 in there, I'm assuming that we're in the 25% tax bracket. That means $1,800 of that $2,400 that went in is your money and $600 would have gone to taxes, okay? Because if you're in the 25% tax bracket, 25% of each dollar you earn that's taxable goes to the government. So if 2,400 went in, 1,800 was really your money already, that even if you didn't put it in, you could have just given the government $600 in taxes and you could have kept 1,800. But because you put the total 2,400, 200 a month into your retirement account, you get to keep the whole 2,400, okay? 1,800 was, rigid, was your money, period, and 600 was taxes. So that strategy just, made you or saved you $600, okay? Now, step two, the money's in the account. It's not there all year, and we're on the first year. So I said 2,400 return on investment is $150. I just did a conservative number, five, 6%, something like that, because the money's not in there all year, okay? See, you, that could be at your 401k, your 403b, it could be with T. Rowe Price, whoever, or maybe you know some good financial advisor, okay? But don't pay a whole bunch of fees. Now, in your business, for the whole year, you get $5,000 in tax deductions. You're in the 25% tax bracket, so if you made $100,000 on job and business combined or whatever, it's going to lower your taxable income by $5,000. If you made $50,000, it's going to lower your taxable income by $5,000, okay? So the bottom line is that $5,000 in tax deductions will save you $1,250, cash money. Now, if you don't have those deductions, then you owe $1,250 more in taxes, okay? So that's $1,250 that you just earned right there. Now, $5,000, once again, that's super conservative, you know? Hey, most people write off 10, 15,000 or even more. So I did a low, low number. This can help anybody, you see? All right, then business income. I'm saying you weren't very good in business. You only made $500 the whole year. Okay, $500 the whole year. So that's, you know, uh, eight or 10 recruits or you two or three recruits and they recruited two or three, 500 bucks the whole year. Real, real low income, okay? I did that intentionally because I want to show that you can succeed. You can succeed no matter who you are. And if you let your team know this, 
your retention will be great and your growth will be great. And you'll see some people that took them a little while to get going. You know, uh, this reminds, you know, Jeanette Butler, she's a hard worker. She was never a great recruiter in the early days, but she's a millionaire. She's a millionaire, you know? We got a lot of people like that. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start a new show. Um, uh, you know, I don't know if it's gonna be on YouTube or Facebook Live or whatever, but I'm gonna be marching my econ successful people across the stage. Okay? I'm gonna be doing interviews everywhere I go. Okay? And then and, and that's gonna be the show. We're gonna light the America up with my econ success stories. This system works. Okay. Now, add all that up, that's $2,500, $600 from investing your own money, okay? All right, $2,450 in interest, $1,250 in tax savings, $500 from the business, $2,500. Now, $2,500 divided by $500, I know it doesn't cost $500 to be in my income for a year, even at $49.95 for his first month, and then uh, thirty-four ninety-five a month for eleven more months. That's not five hundred dollars, but I put five hundred to make the math easy. Okay, I like simple stuff. Twenty-five hundred divided by five hundred dollars. That's a five hundred percent return on your money. Five hundred percent. You see, folks, if you're going to become a millionaire, if you're going to become financially successful, you got to learn to grow money like a capitalist. And one of the tools that capitalists use to grow their money is a business because it lowers your taxes. It gives you leverage. And they also use smart financial strategies. Strategy trumps sales. You're not going to become a millionaire. You're not going to get what you want to get if you only going to use one tool. And that tool is, well, I'm just going to try to sell my way to the top. Oh, folks, I, you, you know I can sell, right? I love the sale. I've been doing it 40 years. But it's all the tools. Look around at the millionaires in the world. Look around at the billionaires in the world. They, 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 they're using the whole platform, okay? See, they do this. Even they, they do this. They're just doing it on a different level with different numbers. I just started with low numbers. I do this. I just do it at different numbers now, okay? But in early days, I did it with the small number. Now, take the same $500, $49.95 and $34.95 a month and put it in the bank at 2% and you'll make $10 the whole year. So right here where I have $25, you'd have $10 divided by 500, 2%, not 500%. This is what the capitalists are doing. So now you've got $4,300 of capital at the end of the year. Okay, the 1800 that was already your money, plus the 2500 you created using the strategies and the business, that's 4300 Now you can roll that money and start growing that money. That's how you go in two years, three years, and become financially successful or a millionaire in 10 or 12 years without being a super salesperson. But I'm gonna tell you a secret. I'm gonna tell you a secret this morning. This will make you a super salesperson because when you start talking about, I'm growing my money at 500% a year, I can show you how to make 500% a year on money, on your money. And then you start using this to show it to them. And you use examples to help them get it. People say, how do you do that? And they sign up. You see, this is a sales tool. The strategy is a sales tool because if you can help somebody grow their money at 500% instead of 2%, boom, you got them. Now, watch what happens when you, when you use this. What if you make, you start doing this and your recruiting goes up. So you make 5,000 in the business instead of 500. You see, got the same, you know, I just kept the other numbers the same, even though you would have more money to put into the retirement account. You know, you'd have more money to put in the lifestyle. You'd have, you'd make more interest. I just kept the numbers. You'd get more than 5,000 in tax deduction to save you 1250. I just kept those numbers consistent, though, just to show you a point. You make 5,000 in business, now you got 7,000 in cash flow. Now your rate of return goes up to 1,400%. Now you work in capital is $8,800. You can, you, you can diversify into other type of investments now, because now you got some working capital. This right here just be, this will be 90, 
just these small numbers that I had over there a while ago, okay, the $4,300 will be 95% of all the networkers in the world. These numbers right here with 8,800, that'll be 97% of all the networkers in the world. Now we love networking and we can sell, but they got to work together. They got to work together. I've been in this industry a long time and I've seen the real fact, because you see people, they jump from company to company every two to three years, every six to 18 months. Guys, folks that's got money, folks that's financially stable, they ain't hopping and skipping and jumping. They don't no need to. They're not hopping and skipping and jumping. They don't need to. When you see somebody hopping and skipping and jumping and flipping and flopping and running here and running there, oh well, you know what the deal is. You got to take care of your money. Business income, you make 25000 See, because when you start showing people you're growing your money, people going to follow you. Now you got 27000 See, 600 same 600 same 150 same, but you got 25000 That's $27,000. Now you're ready to return go up to 5400 Folks, keep that up for five years, six years, and you're sitting there with a quarter of a million dollars in your investment account. You have no debt. Your finances are great. You see, take a seven to 10 year perspective to become a millionaire, a real millionaire. See, understand what's going on out here. Don't go for the okie doke. Don't go for the foolishness. You got to grow your money. There's a million, no 10 million, no 100 million stories around America about people who Man, I used to do this. Man, I used to do that. Man, I used to have this. Man, I used to have that. Man, I accomplished this. And the end of the conversation is always the same. But I, they don't say I, they say somebody else messed them up because they don't want to take responsibility. But the truth is they messed up. Take care of your money. This is Ivy. Hey guys, I'm so glad you joined us this morning.